Welcome to Reread. We're on another book series, but before I start, I want to talk about a short story in the Star Wars Insider that takes place prior to this book. It's called A Fair Trade. Uh, and this one, Kendron and Mar, who are characters in the uh, upcoming duology here by Paul S. Kemp, uh, that basically trick Regis, who is also mentioned in the book series, uh, who is trying to, Regis is trying to get their ship from them. But uh, Kedron and Mar outsmart him. And as, they, as he goes to dock their ship, he finds it's damaged and they're not there. They have actually snuck on and took, taken over his ship. And so uh, they kind of leave him derelict in space. And they said, if you're good, if you're good, we'll call for help. You know, and that's kind of how it ends. Just to kind of introduce characters. Now, uh, authors did this all the time. Uh, when they're trying to promote their book series, they you know do a little short story about characters from their upcoming series. And at the end of it, you know they advertise Cross Current coming out in stores soon, or now, or whatever now available. Um, I like I like that they did that. Is this a story that you need to read? No, like all Star Wars insiders, it's kind of short, sweet, and to the point, and then that's it. Just like a, a mini adventure. Even though I will get into Cross Current by Paul Kent now. When you do see them and they're playing cards against Re Re Regis, um, that, that, that adventure is not mentioned. Even though the spaceship they stole from him is their spaceship in the book, you think Regis would bear more of a grudge? Now, maybe, you know, smugglers, it comes and goes. But he's playing Sabacc with them. And, I mean, yeah, he's trying to cheat them, too. But the thing, thing is, though, they never mentioned that previous adventure. Now, of course, maybe Paul Kemp wrote this short story after that. But, you know, to kind of introduce characters. But you know, what was the point of the short story then? I don't know. Maybe I'm being too harsh. Um, overall, Cross Kent, uh, Cross Current, excuse me, Cross Current has a nice adventure. Jaden Kaur is in it. Jaden Kaur is um, Kyle Katarn's um, apprentice. He was in some uh, video games. I did not know this when I first read it. I, did, I didn't really play it. I still don't know the video games that well. That's my biggest weak spot in the EU. But uh, this time, of course, I knew where he came from. Uh, Kyle Katarn isn't in it. He didn't have to be because Jane Cord, he got disenfranchised with the Jedi Order after the attack on Centerpoint Station. They explained what happened, which I thought was really good. And he kind of wanted to, you know, take a walkabout, you know. And so this happens after this whole crisis. It does take place after Lord Cadus. They even, he even tells someone that we just took out a Sith recently. So this happens in, in the right uh, order here. But Kel, who is an Anzati Sith, is sent on a mission by Darth Krayt. You know, now they're actually mentioning his name, but not Darth Krayt. It's uh, Lord Warlock, Wer Warlock, um, who, I, you know, there, you see picture of him. He's in, he's featured in the Legacy comic book series. And I guess I had forgotten about this, um, that Warlock was in it. I think he, he's mentioned in both uh, books too. I know that now, now that I'm reading it again, I was like, oh yeah, but I didn't realize he was in this. And they start really making connections to the comic book, which I enjoyed. I thought it was good. But Kale is on the mission because he has to go to some spot. They don't know why, but the force is calling their attention to some little place um, out in the far corner of the galaxy. And the Jedi are also being called there. So Kale, who loves soup, you know, just as we know from the uh, uh, Tales from Jabba's Palace and the Tales, you know, trilogy, that Anzadi loved to drink the soup of their victims, uh, that, you know, uh, he, he's, he's looking for the ultimate soup. And he finds that when he meets Jaden Kaur. He knows. That his destiny is to suck Jaden Core's brains out. What did you think I was going to say? But anyway, Jaden Core is following a vision. He brings Kendrin and Mar around to, to get them to uh, fly him to this planet that only they have the coordinates to. They just found the coordinates and they think there may be something salvageable there. But it turns out to be an abandoned lab in the Thrawn days where he, they were cloning Jedi. Jedi like Cam Sassalier and uh, a few others. And I was thinking, wait a minute, was Cam around back then? I, I have a hard time fitting this into continuity because Dark Empire happens after Timothy Zahn's series where Thrawn was alive. Cam wasn't found yet. Maybe he was a dark Jedi going around. Maybe, I mean, the, the whole thing is shrouded in mystery, but they say it's during Thrawn's era and they're doing these clones. There's a clone of Kim Sassalier that uh, Jaden Core has to defeat easily. He does, but he should because he's trained in the Force, whereas this clone Cam isn't. And he's not called Cam. He's called Alpha. They're all called different names. And um, But I don't know. The, the placement of that facility. And, and then Thrawn never cared about cloning Jedi. In fact, he says that in the book. It was a bad idea. He let Jor Sabath do it. So was it Sabath 
was it his station? Was it just Thrawn making reports? I don't know if we're ever told that or not. Note to self, when you tell your wife you need 10 minutes without the heater being on, and she goes, sure, she's lying. All right, so where was I? Yes, the Sith. This story has the Sith, the two Sith ships we found out in Lost Tribe of the Sith, when they're both making a supply run for uh, Naga Shadow. One gets abandoned, on, you know, derelict on a planet. The other one goes forward in the future. Now, I'm not much for time travel. In fact, I really hate time travel. But if you just time travel into the future, I guess I'm okay with that. I guess. But overall, they move it to the future. Now they're in the future. Raylan, who is also who's also made it to the future, he escapes, finds Jaden Core, tells Jaden Core the urgency of taking out this, this ship. Um, of course, Jaden Core agrees with him. Raylan goes on the mission with Mar, who has who is force sensitive. We find out. Raylan kind of teaches him a little bit in the force as they're you know traveling together to take out Sayes, that one of the Sith uh, captain of the ship there. And by the way, Sayes, who knows they're in the future, he finds out later. Goes, oh man, if there's no Sith Empire, well, maybe I can be the master of the Empire. You know, I mean, maybe I can be the master of the Sith now. Of course, like any Sith, he's thinking you know greedily. But he also knows that his former master, which is Raylan, is coming for him. Raylan is full of anger, and he basically knows as he's slaughtering, he, he, he's, he's basically a lost soul. He even tells Mar that. He said, I can't train you. And you think for a minute, at least I thought for a minute, I like Raylan because he's kind of a broken Jedi. His, his, his uh, apprentice just died. His apprentice was always laughing, always happy. And when his apprentice dies, that kind of a part of Raylan dies with him. And... And and the story we're told is Relin is just killing, just just mass murdering. He tells Mar, he's you need to leave. Why he went? Because I've got murdering to do, and this is not the Jedi way. He knows he's lost, and it's kind of sad. It's very sad, in fact, when we hear about this. And so he's slaughtering a bunch of people on the deck, and they're all dead. And he just kind of, you know, he's just kind of broken. He realizes there's nowhere else for him to go. He is going to die. And we kind of knew that too. It's a little bit of a tragedy with him as he's fighting his old apprentice, but it's a really good story. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, Jaden Kors storyline was so-so for me, but Relin's is very good. Now, that's not all that's in this. Uh, Kale finally catches up. Well, first off, he catch, catches uh, Kedron first and tries to drink his soup, but realizes, no, I'm letting the hunger get the better of me. I don't need to fill up on his soup. You know, that Jedi that Jedi Knight, Jaden Kors here, I'll get him. Leaves uh, Kedron alone, and it kind of drops him and just throws him against the wall and then goes after Jaden Kors, which finds it to be a massive mistake because he does ca catch Jaden Kors after he had defeated, after Jaden's defeated the uh, Cam clone, uh, Kale kind of jumps him and then, you know, brings his tendrils in there, shoots him up into his nose and starts to drink his soup. But Kedron's there, and I totally forgot about this. Kedron's there at the blaster, and he goes, he goes, you left me? Frag you. And shoots and blows Kel's head up. And it's and we hear that there's a bloody stump of where his neck is as he falls lifeless to the ground, leaving the tendrils sticking out of Jason's nose, or Jaden Core's nose. I was like, why? It's so bloody and it's so good. How did I forget about this? How did I forget about this story? Man, oh man. Now it ends with Jaden Core, you know, kind of, you know, getting patched up from his uh, injuries. Kendra and Mar are going to help him out because the, the clone Jedi have escaped in Kel's ship now. There's a bunch of them, uh, wife and kids too. You know, but they've had families there because they've been around for a long time and they've taken off in a ship and Jaden knows he must stop those mad clone Jedi. So that's what book two is going to be about. But man, book one, <laughs> when you're blowing off the heads of Anzati Sith Jedi, that's good stuff, man. That is good stuff. I am, when I first started reading this, I didn't, I could not remember that much of the series. And I was reading like, okay, all right. And the series, then story grows on you. I'd say the first, you know, third of the book, you're like, meh. And the second third, you're like, okay, okay. You like Relin's story. You like the, you know, uh, Kedron and uh, Mar, and you're thinking, okay, I could get into this. And then by the end, you're like, yeah, blow someone else's head up. This is awesome. <laughs> but cross current, fun reread. I can't, I can't, I, in fact, I don't even know what happens in Riptide at this point, but I'm excited to find out. And we'll find out together next time.